The samurai predator known as Big Red was a Yatja clan leader that crossed paths with Batman in the legendary fan film Batman Dead End. Though he was only featured in the final scene of the film, his unique design and armor left a huge impact. Big Red led the Gotham City hunting party, stalking the xenomorphs that had infested the Cape Crusader's domain. Not much is known about his past, however his armor can point to an affinity for the samurai culture as he sports an ornamental belt and two katana swords. He also uses wrist blades that are golden in coloration on his left gauntlet, while others traditionally have used their blades on the right. His biomask is reminiscent of the Jungle Hunter by design, however it features additional decorations which are likely a reference to his previous hunts. The Batman Dead End fan film was a crossover between the Aliens, Predator, and Batman franchises, and follows the detective as he pursues the Joker after escaping Arkham Asylum all the while encountering the Yatja Hunters and the Xenomorphs. The 2003 fan film has gone on to receive cult status and is generally regarded as one of the best Batman fan films and live-action interpretations of the character ever. The idea of crossing Batman with the popular sci-fi franchises was something first introduced in the comics and met large success. I've always found the design of Big Red and the other Predators featured in the fan film very unique, and NECA Toys even produced figures based on these characters. What do you guys think of Big Red? Would you like to see the Samurai Predator appearing other expanded media? Fans were able to create a custom biomask modification for the AVP 2010 video game, which is based on Big Red, so I think adding his armor as a playable skin in a future game would be pretty awesome. Big Red and the Gotham City Hunting Party would also make for an interesting comic book adaptation if they were able to ever do another Batman and Predator crossover event, featuring them in a new storyline or perhaps in other comics themselves because, like I mentioned, there's not much to know about his past other than he's a clan leader and that he's a veteran hunter. So I think that there's a lot they could explore in other storylines. Thank you guys again for watching and for more on the Alien and Predator universe, stick with the Hybrid Network.